Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. So in this tutorial, we are going to show the category data from the category table in Laravel. So we have a table over here called category and we are going to show all those data in a table. So first of all, let's go and create a table so that we can show the category name. So for it, let's go back to the code. And here you can see add category and for the add category, the div started over here, div underscore dg. So after this div, we're going to mention another div here. And in this div, we're going to have a table. So let's mention a table tag. And in this table tag, we're going to have table header and table data. So first of all, let's mention the table row here. And in the table row, we're going to mention table header. And the header name will be category underscore or sorry category name only and after that we'll mention another tr tag and in this tr tag we're going to mention the td tag td tag means table data let's say the data will be sports and right now if we save then if we now refresh there you can see we have category name and a data over here so right now let's go and make it look like a table so in order to do that let's go back and here, first of all, we are going to write some CSS for the table. So let's go and mention a class over here. And let's say the class will be table underscore TEG. So let's go and write some CSS for this. So let's get the top. And here, I'm going to give a dot. Then we'll say table underscore DEG to second bracket. Let's say here, uh, we'll say text align. It will be center. We'll say then margin. It will be auto. Margin auto means it will make the table in the center. After that, we are going to add a border for the table. So we are going to say here border. It will be on px or to px solid. Uh, let's say it will be yellow green. And let's also add margin top. It will be let's say 50 px. So right now, if we save, then refresh here. Uh, there you can see it right now kind of look like a table. So let's go and write some CSS for the table header. So here you can see uh, we have table header over here TA stack. So we're going to write some CSS for this TA stack. So here we're going to say TH then to second bracket. We're going to say uh, background color. It will be let's say sky blue. Then let's also mention padding. Let's say padding will be 15 px. Then font size, it will be let's say 20 px. And we're going to say font weight. We're going to make our text bold. So we'll say here bold. And after that, let's say our text color will be white. Text color will be white. So if we now save it, then if we now refresh, uh, there you can see it will look like this. So we can also add some padding for the table data as well. So for it, all you need to do is, let me just show here TD. And after this, we'll say color, the color for the text will be white. Then we'll say here padding, it will be uh, 10px. We can also add a border. Let's say border will be on px solid sky blue save then let me just refresh and it will look like this if we have more data let me just show you uh if we just add on what tr td here then refresh it will look like this here you can see we have a sky blue border over here so right now let's go and show those data from the database table so for it what we need to do is really simple let me just remove this and right now let me just go to the routes then web.php and here you can see for add category or not add category for view category we are calling this view underscore category function uh, so let me just go to the admin controller uh, we'll go to admin controller and here you can see view underscore category function which is returning us to to this view admin dot category uh, which is this view basically so right now what we we'll do is that we are going to send the category data from this view category so here let me just declare a variable let's say dollar data 
equal to we are going to mention our category model name which is this one we already mentioned at the top the model name so we are going to say here category double clone all so we will get all the category data and after it uh, in order to send the category data to this view all we need to do is we need to give a comma here then we need to say here compact to single quotation and we need to mention this data in this single quotation and do not mention the dollar sign just mention the data after i just save this then we need to go to the admin dot category which is this one and here before this tr we need to mention at the rate of for each to first bracket dollar data as dollar data and this for each loop will end after this tr tag so we'll say here at the rate of int for each so we need to use for each loop because we have multiple data in our database table there you can see you have multiple data in the database table and if you are sending all the data uh, from admin controller more than on data from admin controller then you need to use for each loop okay so right now what we do is that in this td tag we'll give to second bracket then we'll say this dollar data over here so we we'll say dollar data then this arrow sign and after it what we need to do is we need to mention the column name in the code so our column name is category underscore name so we we'll say here category underscore name and this will come from the database table okay and make sure that the spelling is okay spelling match with the database so right now if we save then if we refresh there you can see we are able to see all the category name over here and those are coming from the database table so if you want you can make it a little bit bigger for example uh, let's say that table width let's increase the table width uh, let's say width it will be 600 px save then refresh and there you can see the table width increased so this all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will let the admin delete the category data from the database table so this is all for this tutorial if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials